All right, we are live. Welcome to yet another A Sense of a Bookworm Pre-Pub Chit Chat. And I am here with the gang and we're all excited. We were talking about all kinds of things, not pre-pub so that we could save ourselves. Yes, for totally not talking about pre-pub. Definitely not talking about pre-pub, or at least not, not within my earshot. Uh, when I got in here into this chat room, you guys were talking about steak and other yummy things. So, uh, Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> and also the end of Ramadan and stuff. So, you know, lots of lots of things going on. Um, yeah, happy to see you guys. I feel like it's it's been like, what, a minute or two? <laughs> but it's only because uh, we actually had a read along on the Discord server for part five, volume nine, like at 10 a.m. my time. So it's I've seen the gang and they've seen me. Probably they'll be sick of me after this. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, in which case, too bad. Just kidding. Um, welcome everybody. Hello gang on Discord. How are you? Good. Good. Bye. Ready to talk about pre-pub? Yes, si, senora. Senorita, I am a senorita. I'm unmarried. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you call yourself, senorita. senorita. No, she's right about that. Yeah. It doesn't matter how well, old well, you are. I know, I know. Yeah. Some of us are already praying for a rent, apparently. <laughs> so, <laughs> today we will be talking about a sense of a perform, like I said, the pre pub. And so, but before we talk about it, because boy, are there so many things to talk about, I actually. Took a few screenshots on my iPad and just highlighted some things, put some exclamation marks in some places because I was like, the effrontery. <laughs> um, so many things to talk about in this one. Uh, but before we head into that, we get ahead of ourselves. Let's just say hello to the early gang. I always want to say and greet the early gang. They are precious. Hi, early gang. Hello, early gang. And who wins today's yeah. first comment for early gang? Drum rolls, hello. everybody. Natasha, I'm watch I'm watching you people was the very first one. Welcome. And she's a fellow member as well to our server. So if you are able to hop on over here and uh, we'd love to have you. Noodles, dumplings, kimchi. Says I'm already here. <laughs> oh, you're already here? Where are you? <gasps> oh, yes, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> you didn't hear her? I didn't. I thought I didn't. she was your best friend. <laughs> By text. You, you don't recognize text. your best friend's voice text you Betrayal. guys text i sometimes don't even recognize you guys's voice <laughs> for democracy yeah i mean i mean we've known each other on, on, on other things <laughs> uh please please accept my humble apologies for not recognizing your voice when i'm trying to set up nope. everything here <laughs> Um, it'll always happen too. Yeah. Well, I, Up, right, down, I, I, down, down. I cannot guarantee that it won't happen again. Um, just not just everybody. For everybody, I will either forget your name, forget your voice, forget your face. Uh, Magpie bird brain, come on. Um, all right, noodle something's kimchi. Hey, hey. Uh, Akihana says hello, Magpie and gang. Also, Jenny M. Um, hopefully you can catch us for the replay and enjoy it. Uh, Akihana says uh, she might miss because of family things, so I hope you enjoy the replay as well. She does say also, I really, really, really need either Ferdinand or a woman's POV. Now, do keep in mind, you guys, do keep in mind that I believe the second POV was not completed. I think, I think there's still more to go. It's just based on what? i was wondering about that that kind I'm of cut off sure about that. it cut off really suddenly right i know there's ugh, i i know there's gotta be more stuff there but i can't say mm -hmm. with exactitude because i also don't maybe know I will maybe it goes something. into ferdinand's pov uh, hmm. just as just a possible yeah probably worst, worst case scenario worst case scenario it becomes the prologue of next book no, no, quit talking. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot wait that long. I cannot wait that long. So it's either Quaff and J Novel Club decided to do something cruel enough as to keep people guessing what's happening mm -hmm. in the next one, or 
that was Kazuki Sensei decided to do something crazy and end the chapter there. I don't know, but don't worry, everybody. I'm, I mean, we will is it cruel? It's it's <laughs> it's keeping people, you know, it, it's keeping them hooked and being like, oh yeah, let's let's keep let's keep buying that next volume. Capitalizing on my emotions. <laughs> that is wicked, cruel hey, uh, c capitalism, a, right there. <laughs> at a certain point, at a certain point, capitalizing on emotions becomes no different than a uh, child gambling or loot boxes oh, in terms boy. of like uh, addiction. <laughs> well, emotional damage. Emotional damage, and honestly, emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, you guys, uh, if you can get somebody attached to some your product emotionally, so they have a visceral. Emotional <laughs> okay, that's one. <laughs> but it was well worth it. It was well Come worth on, it. I had to. <laughs> I know. I used to think he really sounded like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so if there is one thing that I have to give props to Kazuki Sensei is that she has crafted a story that makes me, even though I know exactly where the story is going, what happened, and all I I need to read it. I need it today, yesterday, I need it. Um, well, we have to wait a bit. So yeah, uh, thank you for joining us today, Akihana. Hopefully you are able to hop on in. Uh, Kadir Ali, oh there you are. <laughs> it's party <laughs> time. At last you make yourself seen. Where have you been? Uh, also, I am a ghost. You are a ghost. I guess because you're no longer able to fast read, you have been dissolutioned by our yeah. activities. <laughs> 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 You can no longer read without breathing, so I suppose you're like... I am speed! <laughs> uh, I guess you have been retired, but from lives. We, we're still doing it on the, on the server, so... Anyway, so... Like a horse with a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You have not been dispatched yet. Yet. Uh, hello, early gang. Says Jade. I, I I'll enjoy rewatching this on the way to school. Okay, enjoy it. Have a fun time at school. Also, Nine Tails fans says hi, everyone. Uh, also, Jade here is inviting people who are here onto my Kofi page and become a member, so you can hang out with us uh, in between streams. Do so. We are doing some some activities this week. We did live reads. We are watching a movie on Thursday. We're doing chit chat. So, I mean, what's not to love? And then in between, you can always hop on in one of the stream uh, stream channels where they're watching right now. What are you watching, Noemi? Parasite? They're watching Parasite or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> so, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Aaron King Silver says, Just saw Texas in a severe storm state. Oh, no and has storm chasers on scene to hope all the gremlins in texas remain safe do remain safe i have a i have a friend there so uh i haven't heard anything terrible in their area but yeah the storms are scary yeah, but it, it is a very large state so i hope that it's not all of texas it's just one area so still do remain safe uh all of our texas gremlins we wish you the best and finally, we have Vincent here spamming the chat. Uh, I think he probably is, has gone off to bed, as he should. Europe gang. Um, it's right now, what, the middle of the night? So, <laughs> but I do thank you, Vincent, for your support uh, with the super chat. With all of my love, here you go. Thanks. Lots of hearts. Also, the crazy ace says, hello, all. We finally know the names of all of Zen's wives. Quick, who can recite the name of the Zen's wives? Somebody on the chat, on the gang. I definitely cannot. <laughs> uh, oh, I only care about well, Frida, Clementia, and Magdalena. Yes! Ding, 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 ding! And you get a cookie. Yay! Cookie mm. applause! <laughs> Bravo. Yes, you got... Uh, Ra Ralph Frida was... I th they all had... In things in charge of. So Ralph Frida was in charge of the palace as the first wife. Uh, Clemencia, Clementia, can you say the name again? Sorry, Clementia? Clement is I think it's Clementia. Clementia, okay, let's just go Clementia. Clementia oversees the knights as a second, which is, by the way, you guys, ironic because Clementia can't stand to be around quote unquote brutish men. 
So that is she's Bruh. she's in charge of the freaking <laughs> like guards, but she can't stand to be around them. And she's well, like she has she has that trauma from, I, from the I guess this war. I know, I know, but dudes, dudes, like throughout the Magdalena's POV, I was, you know, equal parts impressed and equal parts exasperated. But I was really impressed with Magdalena just leading the leading the charge of the defense and we have other stuff to talk about it but yeah we we have to talk about uh clementia so by the way mm -hmm. yes. by the way which one was from uh glistenmeyer because she was the one who was upset about the ralph Rita. accusation that Raub yeah yeah the she was first really wife. upset about uh <laughs> <laughs> the accusation against uh, uh, Rowlett. Yeah, it was real. Frida, she's from Gl Glisten Glissenmeyer or something, and then so is Rowlett. She's the one that uh, put uh, put him put his name up front so he would be the sovereign knight commander. And yo, look at the guy that you named is the guy that turned coat and betrayed everybody. So that's not going to be fun for her. Wonder what so you bleed yourself. Yeah. Hmm? As the Queen of Hearts would say, off with her head! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Wait, how do you pronounce the uh, second wife's name again? I, I'm just saying Clementia. Though I don't like it because it sounds a lot like Dementia. Dementia? You know, I don't like that name. I was I was Clementia? going to say it sounds like Chlamydia. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Settle down, people. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> okay. I refuse! <laughs> uh, I, I certainly do hope that there's there's no children listening to this and if there are I am sorry but I do not take responsibility for the thoughts and speeches and words of the peeps on, on, on the chat <laughs> don't come at me saying like you filled my child's mind with strange things not me I would never. T Tessia, <laughs> Tessia Cooper said, That's what I was thinking! How would an oh. unsupervised child even end up here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. Anybody who is under 18 is a child in my book. So... Oh, I was going to say under 23. No, under 18. Yeah, me too. <laughs> For me. Under, well, well under, under what? 20 what? 23, you said? 23. 23 is a child if... if well, uh, <laughs> brains develop differently. So, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. The max age of development is 25. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, children, if you're here, uh, don't, don't, mm. don't, don't listen to the nonsense here. Just ignore the nonsense. I mean, after all my talk about Syscons and previous lives, <laughs> yeah. they should have known better. <laughs> that is true. That is true. If you're here, you're only here because you like, like that. it. It's like that. Yeah, it's like what I just said was enough to make you, like, go on that child safety rant, but not all the other stuff. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, I ha there's so many things on the chat. Uh, so Red Tempest says, uh, you were just busy with the memes, Red Tempest. I will admit these memes are not my best. Come on, Red Tempest, you got awesome memes and I will show them. So let's just kind of get started on talking about the content of the prepub. So. We have the first chapter was Magdalena POV. We get a really, really fascinating in insight, uh, in insight, yeah, insight as to the workings mm -hmm. of the royal family. Like you guys pointed out, we finally get the three wives. We see what their what their responsibilities are. Like I said, we have uh, Ralfrida, first wife, in charge of the royal palace. Clementia is in charge of the knights. Again, it, she's ill-suited for the role, not just because she has um, aversion to like brutish men, but there's also like a past because it's a the past that she experienced. Her child, her daughter, the princess, died when she was attacked and there's like a whole story a bit more information in previous books and um and finally we have um magdalena who is in charge of uh kind of like uh being in touch with all the all the other villas so that's what's happening and they they receive orders from raublut to seal the palace to have absolutely no communication with none of the duchies you guys Ex so basically he isolates isolates the communications and so all the information they get is from him and i'm just gonna say he is a 
yeah, that was that was a pretty good move. Because, Classic divide and conquer. Mm -hmm, yeah, and that was pretty that was pretty intense because even Magdalena, if, up to like halfway through the story, like she has to piece together things, and we have to we rely on the fact that Magdalena We're is a has a bit more wit and is a bit more like on it than the other wives. Of course, she relies more on like her martial arts, her martial training. Um, and also, she happens to be incredibly, incredibly protective of charcoal, so anything will raise up a danger flag. <laughs> she, you know what made me realize about that? Uh, protective, like more that like a she, mother. No, I feel like she likes delicate men. <laughs> I'm like, because he's ah. so weak. Like, what kind of woman would want that? But I guess so they're, he, they're so saying Magdalena would be a femboy lover. Yeah, so she would. I, I think I think Magdalena is a bit of a tomboy, and no, she opposite takes tomboy to a whole new I level. I think opposites attract yeah. in right, this right. situation. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I think so, she'd totally be okay with with her husband wearing a dress. Seriously, okay, uh, <laughs> she probably would be. <laughs> probably, I leave you. I leave you guys to write all the fanfic you want off on Ao3. We need as many degenerate <laughs> fanfics as we can get over there. Go ahead, write them. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. I, I just thought <laughs> I thought it was interesting that um, unlike with OBS, mm -hmm. the ranking of the wives mm -hmm. isn't dependent on the duchies they come from. Like we knew Magdalena was a third wife, mm -hmm. but she's from you know the second ranked duchy, yes. where the the first and second wives are from you know um, they're lower. still from greater duchies, but they're from lower ranked ones. Mm -hmm. And so it, it was interesting. I wonder if with Zents, if it's more about like when they were married as opposed to the status of their their yeah. consort yeah also do keep in mind that um when magdalena decided to marry charcoal because that was basically the case she did the bride the bridal what was it she did the whole thing like she knocked him down and asked for bridal challenges whatever she did that <laughs> So God, doing that to a Zent? Yes, not not a Zent. He was he was a, he was still a teacher. A he was still a teacher. He was he was teaching the Ob the uh, Archduke candidate courses because he was the fifth prince. Oh. So he was not right, yet the Zent. Mm -hmm. he was I wish you were gonna, she might have married Ferdinand at one point. Yes. Yeah. So she was she, such she, a, mar she married Charcoal to run away from Ferdinand, <laughs> which is. Like, how are you gonna trade that? Seriously, dude. Exactly right. That then was not her choice. My, that's that's like one of the reasons why I don't like her. By the way, like, <laughs> but okay. you know, it's that's fine. just subjective. Yes, but same here. Another re <laughs> another reason is like, I mean, he's such he's such a weak man, and she 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 she's still still trying to baby him at the end of well, the the uh, so he, POV. She has a she hold on a second her, hold her on. son yeah, yeah yeah but i can't. He, she's still she's trying to baby other. him at the <laughs> end of the pov because she's like she's like um yeah i hope rosemine chooses him like he doesn't even want to be that dude like and he just he betrayed up. all his people and he yeah. messed up with that ordinance that he sent off she was like no Drunk. She knew. That's how she realized he was on drug, right? Yeah. No, I, she I have realize, to just say yeah, about that when, when, when your point's done. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think there was afterwards Kadir and then Patrick. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was about to say it's just like it's just like it feels like Magdalena is more like treating Oracle like um Hildebrand. like she's his mother rather <laughs> than like his wife. Yes. Yes. She. That's the whole entire vibe. And it's I like it just makes time. me think it's like. The reason she chose Chargo was because it's like, um... I don't she know, something like some fetish or something? <laughs> no, she can control him. Maybe. That too. That he doesn't want to be controlled by a man. That. Okay, so let me just go to Patrick and then Nick. So, I have the, uh... <laughs> I have the controversial take that I... I kind of sympathize with Chargo a little bit. Um, uh -huh. for, yeah. for a few reasons. So... First off, Rosemine already noted when she first really met the man that he smelled like rejuvenation po potions or, or medicine. So similar to Ferdinand when she first met him. So one thing that Ferdinand could sympathize with a little bit. 
Um, <clears throat> and both Magdalena and, and Anastasios, I am saying that name bad, but anyway, both of them keep mentioning how much he has sacrificed for this country mm -hmm. because without a Grutrosite, he he has to constantly just down rejuvenation potions and just pump mana from one foundation to the other because he can't do his job properly without the actual magic tool. Um, um, hold, so on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's after, after Nick, Jess. So, where he fucked up, and he absolutely did fuck up, is he did not vet his retainers properly. Sure, his wife did put a uh, Rablet forward, but he should have gathered intelligence on Rablet. He should have found out where his loyalties were, where his previous stations were, all these things, and either tried to turn him to his own side or say, yeah, you're not a good fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and that's where he fucked up, mm -hmm. because when he got Roblet in that position, that allowed Roblet to corrupt. Mm -hmm. Yep, agreed. Nick. All right, so Magdalena mentioned to um, her son, basically the reason she chose Tarquil over Ferdinand is because Tarquil is loving and caring and a good father. Basically, mm -hmm. she couldn't see that. In Ferdinand. Ferdinand was always someone who was harsh, critical, and and mm -hmm. never showed emotion. Which is why she found it weird that any child mm -hmm. would um, like to be around Ferdinand. So she couldn't see Ferdinand ever being a father, basically. Which is why she didn't want to marry him. You know, she wanted charcoal because she could see the warmth and the love in him right so basically so, it was, yeah so it was a redo of uh hanalor who wanted somebody who could be gentle kind and understanding and would listen to her <laughs> almost i kind of feel like yeah. that so like i don't <laughs> like she, i don't see her as as treating him like she's uh his mother so much as like you know he's been killing him breaking his own back for the last 10 years trying to keep this country going He's just been horribly, horribly betrayed. He's trugged, you know, thing. Everything's going exactly wrong for him. And he's at his lowest ebb right now, mm -hmm. you know, and as a wife, that's got to be incredibly frustrating for her, you know, because she she truly, truly cares about him. Yeah, I have you no. Know? Yeah, um, I have no. And issue. So, but yeah. if she true, if she truly cared about him, then she wouldn't force him to still be Zent because she knows he doesn't want to be. She should know that already. So another thing, another thing that I uh, that is, is is here like I don't like a woman can like the kind of guy she wants whatever I don't have an issue with like her like ultimately I joke that why didn't she want to marry Ferdinand like she's so dumb dumb but or whatever I don't care like that's that's always a joke she can go and if she can get him and he likes her they like each other best of luck be happy but that doesn't mean that just because you love him he deserves the crown especially if he gave it up during a critical moment um jess sorry go ahead yeah no i mean what upsets me is like uh she 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 has her moments where i'm like okay she's a good she's she's she makes me happy and then at the end she just screws it all up like she goes and says she's like i hope rose mine ends up choosing him i'm like just because you sacrificed yourself just because you've done you know everything possible still does not make you the right person for the job mm -hmm. and it this is not just your feelings involved this is an entire country mm -hmm. and for you as one of those one of the queens or whatever you should know better that the country comes first not your husband mm -hmm. Yeah. And so she was she was basically more towards her husband and her feelings than the state. And that's what really pissed me off about her. And like I thought, yeah. you know, she had it together until the very end and then she's like I'm like no, she still doesn't have it together. <laughs> that's that's and I fully I dumb and stuff. Yeah. I, I, I think fully another, agree with that. One thing that's I, also important to remember is that they've been operating under a Nick. royal family system for a long time. Yeah. Don't interrupt each other, <laughs> Patrick. 
I, I just wanted to say I, I fully agree with with that take because mm-hmm. I mean I I also agreed that Charcoal was not a good Zent, and he never wanted the position because well that was supposed to be his his big brother's jobs, but they had a fight and he was the only one left alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, no matter how much he sacrificed for the country, because a lot of people sacrifice for for their countries, but that doesn't make them world leaders. Yeah, and correct. Pe- people Charcoal, will die for their country. Yeah, P- Trial Call, he, he sacrificed a lot, but he did not deserve the position because that was not his lot. I, I feel like at the beginning he did deserve his position. It's just that as a person, he kind of just kind of degraded and downgraded slowly over time until how he is now. Like yeah. at the beginning he was worthy, but at this point, no. At, like, I think his biggest, the biggest fault I have with Charcoal is that you are supposed to like not rest on your laurels and rest easy especially if you if you are at the king of the hill you are always constantly having to be on the guard fighting off opponents and I feel like he got complacent especially if the traitors came from within his ranks that's what makes it unforgivable I think. Yeah, well, the thing is, um, I feel like his people also became complacent. Mm-hmm. Like his wives, mm-hmm. outside of Magdalena, because she was like, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> like, she, she was like, oh, uh, yeah, no, he could be a spy. No, he, there's no way he could be a spy. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? I could care Rap. less if he's innocent or not. Rap, <laughs> like, hook him up until we know he's a spy or not. Like, yeah. And she was right. Mm-hmm. She was right. But the other yeah. two are like, the other two wives are like, oh, it's fine, everything's good. I'm like, oh my god, you'll let the entire country burn just because you think something's gonna fix itself. Yeah, one of my yeah. favorite lines here was when she was when she was getting ready to like, um, uh, she was gonna defend Charcoal, like be part of his his guard, and uh, she's like, "Pay no mind to me, dear. Get some sleep in the side room, and so on. I will be I will be up, and we will set up traps for you." And I put in my in my in my notes, I just put yes, mommy. Um, but then later <laughs> later <Yep. laughs> later on, it says, uh, "Even as I rested, I was ready for battle. My hair was braided so that I could quickly wrap it up and secure it with a single band." Clothes were suitable to be worn outside. She had a belt with her face stones, plate armor ready, offensive magic tools, remained on her guard even while on, in bed. And she thinks this is why Dunkel Felger women rarely ever fit in or adapt when they marry into other duchies because they are intense and with good reason as we as we see oh, yeah. here. Um, <laughs> and, and she she is absolutely the most competent of all of the Zen's wives. Mm-hmm. But as as I'm sure everybody's in agreement here, she picked the wrong man. Yeah, but you know, it's like <laughs> uh, besides, besides her picking the wrong, <laughs> besides funny, her picking oh. the wrong men. Yes, yeah, she's the most competent mm-hmm. out of his wives. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, she's the third wife. Mm-hmm. She yeah. should have been a first wife. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, I think a lot of stuff wouldn't happen if she was Treya Cole's first, first wife. wife yeah Agreed. yeah she would have definitely assigned somebody in the knights in the the head of the sovereign order would have been somebody from Dunkelfelger rather than Glissenmeyer uh, and she wouldn't have trusted Relbo. She would have found that out a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah unfortunately. Yeah. One funny moment I liked was just, just was the knights like poking fun at her, saying it's like, so you're saying Charlcle can sleep while you're just standing over him in full plate armor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and I, that gave me a good laugh. <laughs> and uh, also going on about Magdalena because Magdalena is an awesome character, like. Despite her taste in men, blah, 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 and how she's delusional if she thinks that charcoal can still be... Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. But she's, she still managed to piece everything together. And once she once she realized it, she set the alarm to the people. So um, she was like, okay, so there's fighting in the Royal Academy with the Dunkelfelgarians. Who are the Dunkelfelgarians fighting? And well, it's the Sovereign Knights. Also, who told them to seal the royal palace in the first place? Well, uh, that prevented uh, them from communicating with duchies. And also, 
very few people can now sneak in the sneak intruders into a living quarters. So ultimately, she yeah. connected the dots, and it, it was all pointing to Rob. Yeah, and when she was she doing that, I had like a Sherlock moment. Mm -hmm. I thought she was like Sherlock Holmes for a moment. <laughs> yeah, Where, right. That where was, she's like, all this and she's figuring it out within like minutes. Yeah. And what's unfortunate about it is that she had to argue it and like yes. literally have to say, have to take over because they didn't believe her even after she took oh, over yeah. for a bit. And I she's wonder. Like, how, sorry. No, I'm just saying she she they still didn't believe her, mm -hmm. but she she's like I have to take control whether they believe me or not. I'm the queen. Mm -hmm. They need to listen. Mm -hmm. They need to shut up. Their king is not up. Uh, He's not up for it right now, so I have to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, Kadir? I, yep. I wonder. Uh, I wonder how much worse the situation would have been for the royals mm -hmm. if it wasn't for like um Ferdinand's uh, interv inter intervention mm -hmm. and messages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like think how it was quickly also... would it take for them to figure it out? <laughs> they wouldn't have. <laughs> I mean, we got an intruder too. Like that was shameless. They got an intruder running to get to kill Tarquil in his bedchamber, and he's like, "Oh, excuse me, I was confused." And she's like, "Uh, uh, bind him up and bind everybody up. Everybody tied. You get tied. Everybody get tied." Um. So yeah. Good. Well, that's what yeah. you're supposed to do if you mm -hmm. have like a oh, whole. Yeah, right. No one. There's okay. no way a knight competent enough to be a royal would be that <laughs> I, incompetent. Although it was I, interesting I, to see when she was um, talking to herself with her brother. She's like, oh man, I'm going to hear this from my brother later. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's in the little fight later. Uh, Patrick? Yeah, and, and I loved the the picture that they showed. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that soon. We're almost done here with the, the stuff in the royal, royal palace. Patrick? I was just saying, uh, Magdalena is totally a dummy mommy. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. you're reading the things. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like some content or, yeah. Okay, I, I agree. All right. So uh, <laughs> since since Jazz was kind enough to head the the discussion in that direction, let's talk about the fight. She meets up with yeah. her brother, who happens to be up Uncle Felger, and he gives her what does he give her? Everybody, a silver knife. dagger. Like a dagger, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I Silver dagger. Mm -hmm. One of those silver daggers that the enemies uh, use, which kind of was like, okay, Raublet, why are you so surprised that you were that you were attacked with something that would, like, come on, somebody must have gotten a hold of a weapon able to deal with your nonsense, and it seems fitting yeah. though. It seems fitting that she gave, she was the one that got him first, uh, because of all that she stands to lose from this this betrayal not only is this a betrayal to her king and her husband but also what rob Luke did to hildebrand which she doesn't know about yet but it's fitting that she was the one that gave him that first blow that set him down mm. later on well the thing is not only Purple did he life. betray them mm. she she I think what really threw her over was the fact that he drugged him. Oh, yes. Like, realized, mm -hmm. Yeah, she realized, she's like, not only did you betray him, you manipulated and drugged mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. what is wrong with you? And then the thing is with Raubo, I think he thinks, like, uh, he doesn't have all the information mm -hmm. that he needs to win a war. So he doesn't know um, fully if Fernand died or not. Mm -hmm. Uh, he he doesn't really know what happened with um, Aaron Spark and Lanzanave over there. Mm -hmm. He only knows small details or whatever about it. So he doesn't have all the information to win, which is a godsend for you know the mm -hmm. Jurgen Schmidt people. But you know, uh, and she has partial information too. So it's going to be interesting when they have all the information at one point, mm -hmm. like when she has all the information, like he drugged her his son and made her son do that and Fernand uh survived because you know rose mine's a freaking goddess <laughs> in in defense of like okay in defense of just like um Roblot's competence it's just like think of like the small amount of details it takes for that information to be wrong it's like who would have expected like Detlin to lie when he had like um the foreign prince to like by her side just to confirm her, and then Georgine, who's proven her hyper competence, said that Ferdinand is dead. So it's like, <laughs> why would he expect that? And also just, it's and most of like the uh, 
what's the name of the country? Jurgen Schmidt's nobles, like, don't really, like, believe the divinity are that active, so it's just... Hearing Rosamine becoming a god is just like, ugh, what childish exaggerations. <laughs> what and he, nonsense. And he is... And it's not unreasonable for Roblet to think that. Well, like, no, oh, I mean, oh. like, he's, he's a little weird about it, though, because... I don't understand why he doesn't believe certain things because he's all with the uh, one true king. I seriously had a like Game of Thrones moment, like every time he talks about Gervarzio being the one true king or whatever. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no, <laughs> but 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 you can't believe you can believe he's destined to be king, but you can't believe in the gods, right? <laughs> so one, one no, thing we, believe, we did like, find out he does believe oh, that they're on, real, Kadir. just not active. Hold on, dear uh, Nick. So one thing we found out from, um, just to highlight Gervasio's point of view, is that Roblo knew that Ferdinand wasn't dead. The only person who thought Ferdinand, like knew Ferdinand was dead, quote unquote, was was um, Georgine. Because Detlin reported to Georgine that he was dead. But um, uh, L- Lenozio or whatever his name was, reported correctly to Roblo and Gervasio that he was dying but not dead. Yeah, so I think Gervasio was suspicious of whether or not uh, Ferdinand was actually dead. Yeah, because yeah, of the information he she, from the tree. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Yeah, um, the, think... the, the, the information he got from the tree, like, he that that poor tree has sent uh, Gervasio, like, through a roller coaster. I feel bad for him in terms of that point, because, like, one minute he's like, I'm worthy, I'm not worthy. I'm worthy again. It's, he has imposter syndrome. <laughs> he is saddled with imposter syndrome. He has the book. And, you know, when we were getting Rosamine's POV, I was like, whoa, we're in trouble. <laughs> he looks assured. He's using the book. He's casting blessings. Yeah, we're in trouble. But all this time he was like, oh. uh, well, that sapped a lot of my mana. I don't know what else I can do with this holy book. I'm going to see. What? I'm going to I'm going to wait back I, and see what other attacks he, said, he has that he I can find that. and use. My, yeah, myself. he said that he had more power than Rosemine mm-hmm. and Ferdinand. Yes, but he, oh, yeah, he but he likes yeah, the blessings that, that make it gives more efficiency. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just uh, want to say it's just, oh God! Every time Gervasio just talks about, oh my God, the gods are real. They listen to me. Oh my God, this is amazing. I just, I don't know why. I just find that such like. It's sad. It's so endearing in like a childish way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. So I, endearing. I, think we, I, think <laughs> I mean, it's Rosemine something... part okay. two, you know, in part two. No, I think it's funny right, that he on. has like the same type of reactions <laughs> as everybody else with Ferdinand and Rosemine going back and forth with each other. Yeah. Uh, Patrick. So I, I think we may have missed something from yeah, we uh, have, the end of we the We haven't Nicolena. finished that. Yeah. Um, do you want to point right. something so, out? Mm hmm. Yes, I, I wanted to point out that she figured out that Ferdinand has the G book. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> and I uh, just like her brother. Yeah, what the the satisfaction I felt, I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. so did the first so place of Duncanfelger. <laughs> well, I was yeah. thinking that she's just like her brother at that point. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. So that's how he thinks because we saw how she thinks, but we don't really see. We see him talk, but we don't see him how he really thinks. Mm-hmm. But she says that they're very similar. So yeah. she she literally he thinks like her. So that's how he came up with you know he has the book too. So mm-hmm. I just love how every potential wife of Ferdinand were just like, oh fuck, we treated him so badly when they realized he has the crutches type. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna be a terrible reckoning. But what she cares about the most is dispatching Roblet. And it, there was a point where she became so emotional that she kind of forgot that she was actually supposed to be working with her brother. She lost focus. Next thing she knew, she blinked back, looked for her brother. And her brother was like giving her a look like, come on, Magdalena, focus. We're here in an attack. <laughs> And she was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And like you said before, like, oh, shoot, I'm going to hear I'm going to hear from my brother. And I think it's kind of sweet, like <laughs> like brother relationship, brother sister relationships. It's it's nice. They to still see are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they still in terms of like, other sister relationships, I feel like the like relationship certain... in Delkofoger is so <laughs> strong, like compared to other duchies, like their yeah. siblings, mm-hmm. their family, their people. Mm. They're all like on the same page. Yes. Patrick. I was just going to 
troll a little bit. I, I, I think. Never mind. I, I think you're good. <laughs> not letting me. <laughs> you and your. I know. I think I know what you want to say. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Here I'm trying to we get. We take you. away your microphone. Here, here I am trying to give you some space to talk because people keep talking over you, and you. Well, at least you were. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> hey, I stopped myself I this time. I, I stopped that's myself. Why, that's, why, that's why I'm saying bless you. Like, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Sending you hugs. <laughs> server mute him. Keep uh, him from the server. Hey, no, 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 so, no. Uh, um, anybody thought it was funny how the tree mm -hmm. sounded like a boomer? <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but we'll, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, get not there. Get, we'll get there. So finally, we get... Uh, the attack on Raublut, they charge in. Raublut is trying to fight both magical things and physical things, and he has his cape and he has his mana. It, it's crazy. Good thing that both the Dunkelfelger children were able to get in on him. Um, he was shocked. He was a traitor. He is going down. That was incredibly satisfying. Yes. Um, anything else about that? Again, the the one thing yeah, that um, she finished was was with that POB was like, well, maybe if I pray to the gods that they could give my husband the the, the Gudris hide, he's worked so hard. But of course, the gods did not answer her prayer. And that's how the chapter ends. So I'm like, ooh, yeah. it's too it's bad. It's a little too bad that mm -hmm. um, um, killing has been basically not authorized because yeah. it would be real nice for her to get the final comeuppance on him, but he's going to yeah. probably be left alone for a while. Yeah, she says that they're going to leave him, like to give him some potion because they're going to put him through like a grueling process of interrogation to figure out what was his goal since when he started acting up like this. So he is in for uh, a very unpleasant time. Also, before you guys pass over this one, I need to talk about the heart mode, you guys. The heart mode! <laughs> it comes up like in every chapter. <sighs> <laughs> I fucking course. love it. The, of course. Her praise of Lenore was great. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, and her comment about Lenore. I forgot. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yes. So, uh, Hartmut, uh, Leonore, when she notices that they caught her attention, she's like, Hartmut. Uh, you have drawn everyone's attention and distracted them from their work. You are not only embarrassing us, but being a bother as well. Reflect on your actions in silence. And she bound him with light <laughs> and set him down in a corner of the auditorium. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then Magdalena is like, she would make a good Jungle Belga woman. <laughs> yes. I respect her. It's she like, respected yes. him. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, but, but wasn't at that moment, like, um, I was wondering about that moment mm -hmm. with Hartmut, like she was talking about, because wasn't it the rest of the retainers also acting crazy like Hartmut because mm -hmm. of the goddess um, power or whatever? The, the, they know to shut up. Yeah, so the, the name swarm, they're like, yeah, we feel a change, but they were not acting crazily. Like, they, they, right. they said, we feel a change, so, but we can't tell whether it's a goddess ascending into her. So, yeah. Yeah, the, the other names one were very noncommittal about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like, like they they're were nobles. Like, they know to be calm. Mm -hmm. Well, it seemed like they were like, oh, well, now everybody else is kind of acting like Harma. What the hell is going no, on? No, it was just him. It was just him. They, they, were, they were sane human beings compared to... <laughs> I mean, the, that's the, a low bar, though. Erinfus kids, Erinfus people are already weirdos, but Hartmut is on an entirely different plane. Um, I wish I could read the whole things. Well, I'm gonna read it. Such overwhelming divinity colored my lady's embrace. A goddess has ascended <laughs> into her. Can you not feel the supernatural power that now envelops us? It is intoxicating, all consuming beauty beyond your comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how this guy is not. Yeah. <laughs> Eustace is like, and you guys think I'm weird. Right? <laughs> yeah, man. Mag, you forgot like, to do that with a southern gentleman's voice. I can't do a, I can't do a southern <laughs> gentleman's voice. Um, but if anybody here. We need has, yay for that. Where's yay? Or where's any of our other Hartmuts? Uh, we have at least four Hartmuts in our server. <laughs> and conveniently, none of them are here. Oh my gosh, Tush Max says Hartmut needs to change his underwear now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Bad chat. Bad, Bad chat. chat. That, that, that can be very, very naughty, uh, depending on what he means by that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you guys to... There's only one way it could mean. You know what? No, not really, because I thought it was a different thing, but once I read it, I was like, oh, damn, I think he meant something else. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> 
see and like <laughs> like i have like screens all over my screen i have a my monitor and i just happen to screens land all over onto, your screen. yeah I have screens all over my, my monitor life. and I decided what is the YouTube chat saying right now and that's what I saw and that's what I read and because Turash Mac happens to have a uh, a good <laughs> he happens to have good comments with like that make us all laugh and I was like yeah let's see what they what they say and that's what it said <laughs> ah so so the key is to rarely make these comments uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it just no no don't try it no um <clears throat> oh I, I i can't make that happen i i'll definitely be the bad one you will be banned <laughs> <laughs> be the scapegoat for us take the van <laughs> um all right so what is it what is it what else do we have to do talk about so yeah we have that final heart merge leonora thing i just want to point it out because that was important at least to me um so um, okay. I did have a question mm -hmm. that we haven't really answered. How long does the drug last? Like, how does this drug really work? No, does I anybody like know? Any, like, no, well, like, like any drug, it depends on the know. dosage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, is there a way to be time. cured from it, or like, if you have it, if you've been using it for a long period of time, you can't be cured? So here's the thing, you guys. Uh, Fergie and I, you guys know we're both web novel readers. So Fergie has been hinting at it for a long time, and I have not wanted to confirm this, but. Charcoal has been drugged for a long time. So anytime people bring up the fact that anytime he says like, oh, whoever has the Gudris height must have it, must be Zent, be it Rosamine when he was, you remember when he was really harsh on his sons when they questioned his statement that Rosamine should be the unquestioned Zent? That was all the drug talking. He has been drugged for a while now. And right, it, so uh -huh. I, I think, I think it has to do with, um, ah, shoot, right, using hallucinogenics when when um, brainwashing someone. Mm -hmm. So because he kind of snapped back to reality, but whenever it was a question about him being zent or whether he deserved to be zent or who deserves to be zent, that's when he kind of went into like kind of like zombie mode. And then he snapped back. Yeah, kind of like he, yeah, he was yeah. so he's been conditioned. Like, what makes me what's interesting is Anastasia already knew about Trug. Like mm -hmm. they all knew the Fernand told them about Trug. Mm -hmm. Or no, was it Rosemine that told them about Trug? Uh it was Rosemine. It was the yeah. Ironfest, basically. Ironfest told yeah. him about Trug. Well, Aaron Fest told him about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They didn't believe it until this was happening. Actually, in this chapter, they mention it. We oh, sure it wasn't do you remember? Do you remember that Anastasius <laughs> was Anastasius was tasked with the with investigating Trug? If you guys remember, he tried to conscript Hortensia to investigate it, but that was that was all. Hortensia was killed, so that investigation went nowhere. So they have been trying to get more information, and secretly too, because they know that the Sovereign Knight's order has been compromised. So that's why um, their their information about it is patchy, uh, fortunately. So yeah, Aaron Fest had his "I, I told you so" moment mm -hmm. in the in the Magdalena chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she mentioned so, it, how. Mm -hmm. Oh, Aaron Fest was right. <laughs> <laughs> After after this pre-pub, I can just imagine all the the royals being like, "We should listen to Aaron Fest." You're right, those weirdos. Do you um, really think they're humble enough to do that? Yeah, they're gonna have a. Oh no, not in, not in public, not yeah. in public. So Gil and Prince, they're gonna have T-shirts that say "An Aaron Fest We Trust." <laughs> uh, uh, in the chat, Gillum says it was implied that Charcoal was still being drugged even when Rablet wasn't there. All this quote unquote incense to sleep better. Yes, that. Uh, unfortunately, even when Rablet's not there, when he slept, that was to help him relax. Um, yeah, so we don't know, but we don't know when it started. We just know that he was brainwashed and we know that it was Ra Rablet. Yep. Um, all right. So that's that chapter. Let's go on to the next one since we, oh my goodness, we only have 10 minutes. 10 minutes, you guys, uh, to cover the longer. last third. We can do it though, because it's not a complete chapter. Uh, basically, Gervasio, POV, we, we go from when he's receiving the Book of Mistunora 
and his flow gets interrupted not once but twice and that means that his uh his book is incomplete and it's really sad you guys like even though i know that him getting the book is not a good thing uh when Erwoman told him uh your book of my is incomplete which makes you insufficient as a scent candidate i kind of felt bad for him because <laughs> he was <laughs> horrified he was well, horrified no, was, <laughs> i was laughing because erman sounded like uh our gener like here now with the boomers he's like what is up with this generation <laughs> oh yes 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 yes, yes. <laughs> I was like, oh my god that's something my mom would say <laughs> what is up with this generation right um so i think i think it does Sadly, i've said this a few times <laughs> so i do think did it pick, actually correct me did it pick up while they were fighting they were fighting no never mind it didn't pick up when he was oh wait where did it pick up yeah when he was getting the gutris height sorry that's when it picked up i think up. the explosion yeah. was happening while they were getting mm -hmm. he was trying to get the gutris site yeah yeah so he failed to absorb all the knowledge his book especially towards the end was covered in holes um i, I gotta correct this a little bit sorry um oh yeah go ahead his his absorption of the knowledge was interrupted mm. <laughs> when uh when rosemine and ferdinand used their uh their capes to absorb that that mm -hmm. light mm -hmm. yes. so this was before the fight in the auditorium yes thank you for the clarification yes this is we go back in time towards that time yes thank you and so Erwerman is just absolutely like what's going on this has never happened in the history of histories he was uh, ruthless he was ruthless <laughs> yes uh and he was like you know what there's there's three people who are right now candidates and they are all like how are how are there three zen candidates yet none of you have a complete book of mestionora good grief this generation which is what <laughs> jazz said um and it, survives you kept saying yeah. um who should i kill rose should i kill rosemary should i kill Quinta? Uh -huh. yeah he was like he kept going back and forth who's more dangerous to me right <laughs> and also and also going back to what i was saying before is uh he was like okay so it's me and then two other people who could those other two people be and he's like well maybe Deadland. no no immediately no she's lacking <laughs> mana <laughs> elements and intelligence and then this line that i love there neither there existed no world in which she had made it here <laughs> it's a shame it's a shame noemi's not here for this i know i was thinking the same thing uh noemi we love you but <laughs> he's right he's right <laughs> i like how he fought he he finally real like uh has a realization that mine is more dangerous than ferdinand mm -hmm. and like it's not because she's like smart or anything like that. She's just she's just mine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So even though even though he's like she has less mana than me, he also gets a sense that her power is just unfathomable. Mm. Yeah. It, it's it's weird because I I think he doesn't realize that the divine protections allow her to use mana more efficiently, mm -hmm. which is why she's using so much less than he is in blessings. Mm -hmm. How also aware is he of divine protections? Yeah. Uh, I he he we pretty much was taught by by Rosemine mm -hmm. at that point because he tried it when she he saw her, so mm -hmm. he's like yeah well, yeah that's let what, me try it that's what he was doing like it was kind of like a little sad to see him like try to figure things out like because he's not used to prayers and blessings being your answers being and an your prayers being answered right there and then that's a Jurgen Schmidt thing also. That's uh, that's why i said it was endearing <laughs> it was a little endearing and sad yeah uh he says uh about rosamine he says her every action was beyond me including what she was doing now that's talking about the huge washing uh her her actions were beyond comprehend prediction merely standing in her presence made me feel as though i were staring into a bottomless pit <laughs> yeah get in line <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah no um i i also felt bad when he's like i hope the tree smites them both oh <laughs> and yeah he was like and uh rose mine and ferdinand were doing rose mine and ferdinand mm -hmm. rose mine's jumping up and down trying to figure out uh, trying to see the book that um ferdinand yes. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> <laughs> like neither of them were kneeling they're like why aren't they kneeling they're in the presence of a god and now ferdinand is just an it, it, like an insolent fool and mine just cares about books 
Gosh, can't you understand, Gervasio? Ferdinand's built different. He's pro- you know what? I was thinking, he was probably thinking, like, what is up with the tree, man? Uh, Rose might not kneeling either. Why do you want, why is she the best candidate, mm. according to you? <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, the same time, he's he's still saying, well, their their paltry attacks have, have no chance of hurting me. I, I have so much more mana than them. I could mm. easily dispatch them. Mm-hmm. They got shot by a gun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Um, also, also crumpled going, like a g- bitch. Going back a little bit. Going back a little bit. Oh, maybe a lot. Uh, when uh, our woman tells him, "Okay, fine. You know what? Go and fill the foundation." Just go and and get this get the thing done. And he's like, well, I don't know where the foundation is. The book doesn't say where the foundation is. Well, you know what? I'll just ask Rablut. He should definitely know. He'll take me where the royals go to. <laughs> and I'm like laughing because the royals themselves have no idea where the actual foundation is. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder you know, if they have a replenishment hall. What's funny is. Uh, <laughs> He keeps trying to have a conversation with Ferdinand, and Ferdinand's like, "Shut up and die." <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's like he's like, <laughs> like an insect, like, like like an insect. You're like, die, die, spider, spider, <laughs> die. You're like a no, dog. I, I, I was comparing it to high shits. How you like high shits wouldn't like leave her alone. <laughs> yeah, and, and now that now that uh, we finally have access to his internal monologue, mm. you can definitely see that. Uh, Ferdinand had the right idea in saying, "Yeah, let's let's not give this guy any kind of leeway here because uh, he's bad for us." Mm, yeah, yeah, they don't give him a lot of leeway there. But what's what's interesting is that once they're back at the Gardens of Beginnings, they're acting like Ferdinand in mind. They're not acting like they're fighting him. Like they go back to fighting him eventually, but the they're they're like ignoring him literally. While he's like um, praying to the tree, they're like, "Oh fuck this guy!" Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, I, he was so confused. I felt so bad. He probably needed some therapy after this. <laughs> More than a little therapy, he'll definitely need some stuff." Oh well. So one final thing is, I found it really irksome, and this is just me being petty, but I hated that. He knows he doesn't like being called Terza, right? He doesn't like being called Terza. Uh, but he goes and calls Quinta, uh, David, <laughs> he goes and calls Ferdinand, he calls him Quinta, and Rosamine, he starts calling her mine. I'm like, who are you to use those dead names? Like, how dare you, like, call them by their proper names? You don't like it when Erwoman called you, tr- uh, Tren- Trenta or Treze or whatever it is. Uh, Please Crazy. call. Yeah, please refer to them by oh, their Terza, proper Terza. names. Terza. You know, like um, Erwin's, uh My view of Erwin has changed so much from the last few ch- few volumes mm-hmm. because you know he sen- seemed like this majestic thing, and then now he's just like a dad. He's like a dad <laughs> who's pissed off at his kids. Yes, this generation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he he's such a like he's a disappointment too because I'm like you're supposed to be this like really high mighty person but you're you're literally treating they're all children to you which makes sense because you're older but you're you're acting like a child in some ways too you know what i mean you're not thinking outside of the bigger picture you just want and that's how dads are sometimes you know like especially like um boomer generation they're like it's my way no other way there's no other you know path to get to that (laughs) So, I mean, it's like he's a dad. He's totally such a dad. Yeah, unfortunately, he's he is a former god and he is this is an age and an era where people are no longer taking the divine things seriously and the only people that can actually get in touch with him are one this irris- irrespons- not this respectful insolent being called Ferdinand, who doesn't care about him, uh, then mine, who only cares about books. And so it is, is it any wonder that he favors Gervasio, who actually kneels and gives him the proper respect that he believes? But he doesn't favor him. <laughs> she, he said that he prefers mine. Well, between, the, be. between Ferdinand and mine, he prefers them too. But in the end, when it was, when the three of them got together, he shot Ferdinand and he told, Garbazio, go, fill it, you go, fulfill it. He didn't say anything to mine. He was just like, whatever. 
Um, so when it came down to it, he favored Gervasio more. Um, eh, yeah. He's like the child that does everything his parents tell him to do. Yeah. His siblings are like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> now we get. And he's like, why are you still trying to interfere, Quinta? As I he know. shot him. I know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So we finally, we end this point of view and we are basically, um, our time is up now, but we end this with, with the, what's her face? Mestionora, <laughs> Mestionora descending upon, uh, in the shape of, of mine. So she takes over as mine's body and, uh, Rosamine's body and, um, he, this is how it was described. The cocoon slowly took human shape. Mad Mine had returned. Her body flashed and she stayed floating in midair. The light surrounding her remained as if radiating from within her. She slowly opened her eyes, which were more golden than before. And an overwhelming force compelled me to kneel. This being was on another level, level for me. A single glance confirmed it. And that was the end of that POV. Um, about wait, one more thing about this chapter that we didn't mention is uh, because they were Ferdinand and mine were arguing about it previous chapters is about the instant death per poison. Mm -hmm. He was going to use instant death pro poison. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. uh, they kept going back and forth about it. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you don't know if he was going to use that. Yeah, but he was. <laughs> he was. Ultimately, he has we don't know what what's what's at stake for him, but probably his life. For the for real his life if he doesn't if he doesn't leave that place as a king as a zent recognized by jürgen schmidt or whatnot he's screwed but maybe there's some other things that are at stake for him like we'll see we'll see uh, i'm hinting strongly <laughs> so everybody i had so much fun talking about this uh anything that i forgot one final thing about this oh um this uh this pre-pub one thing that we also didn't mention is mm -hmm. uh is that when he was at the altar and he revealed his grusha site he was like okay um with that Jürgen Schmidt should acknowledge my claim to the throne i'm good mm -hmm. everybody should stop fighting him. oh that would be lovely wouldn't it no that's what he thought <laughs> yeah that's what he thought but he didn't he didn't reckon with the fact that uh there would be other grusha site holding people present within that audience and that really severely undermined his claim. If there hadn't been mine to counteract his claim, uh, there would have been some danger there. Because we do remember from her point of view, uh, people started to like kind of falter and they're like, what do we do now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So Germ FB says also that felt incomplete. I am guessing this POV is not over yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's not over, but I could be wrong. I know there's a lot more stuff about what happened in the Garden of Beginnings. And I know whose POV it is, but I don't know if it's maybe another story or maybe in another book. I can't tell you. Just have to wait for it. Um. <laughs> How many parts does this volume have? Eight. So next one will be the last one. I think, or unless correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's eight. Uh, I'm like 90% sure. Uh, all right. So <laughs> everybody, thank you so much for joining. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Yes, you can yes. share these. Uh, I am no longer taking these down. So spread the word, spread the good word. We and join the coffee. Yes. Join the Buy coffee. the merch. Buy the merch. Give yes. the money give the money yes but do share on do share this uh with your friends have some fun with us so they can also have some fun with us as we talk and uh, you know argue about this and that <laughs> and call uh and add to our list of mommies we have mommy elvira mommy siegeling mommy magdalena oh my gosh what a beautiful set of books all right everybody <laughs> take care and um until next time uh have fun and see you later yep. bye say bye bye gang oh also bye. wait bye -bye, a second gang. wait a second i need to oh. just one more thing I saw it, but uh, I didn't want to interrupt whoever was talking. I just want to say thank you to those who uh, who supported via Super Chat. Sorry, this is important. I don't want to forget you. Thank you, Vincent. You're sleeping, but thank you. Uh, and 
support for your support and also Liz thank you so much darling uh, for your support I really 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 appreciate it and yes thank you for reminding me what Magdalena said was what Magdalena asked charcoal was a bridal task so yes okay <laughs> thank you all right everybody now this is the real goodbye <laughs> thanks for joining us everybody are you are we gonna continue uh well yeah but not not on live all right <laughs> goodbye everybody <laughs> bye bye <laughs>